<laughs> Looks more intimidating than it is. Most of them are very nice. Snuggle on in. We can fit, we can fit everybody. You can come on up. Yeah, come on up. You can be up here with your dad. <laughs> everybody, Senator, come on over. Thank you for joining us. This is a very special day uh, in Illinois. Our police officers are our heroes. Our police officers in Illinois bless us every day. They are among the finest police officers anywhere in the world. There is no more noble profession than police officer. And we owe our officers our fullest, utmost respect and support. Today is a very special day because we get to honor and celebrate one very special hero who's with us here today. Officer Mark Dallas from the Dixon Police Department is standing with us. He is honoring us with his presence and his beautiful family. And we are officially proclaiming today, Wednesday, May 30th, 2018, as Officer Mark Dallas Day in the state of Illinois. I'd like to read you a part of the proclamation. I think it's important for everyone to understand. Whereas all of us in Illinois owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to the men and women of law enforcement who self selflessly serve to protect our lives and keep our families safe. And every day, these brave men and women face great risks and put their lives on the line to perform their duties. On Wednesday, May 16th, 2018, Dixon police officer Mark Dallas stopped a school shooting in Lee County, saving the lives of students, teachers, and school staff he was sworn to protect. Officer Dallas heroically confronted an individual firing a rifle into the Dixon High School gymnasium where students were gathered for a graduation rehearsal, stopping the shooting and taking the suspect into custody. Officer Dallas's bravery and quick action prevented what could have been an unimaginable tragedy. A 15-year veteran of the Dixon Police Department and with 24 years of law enforcement experience, Officer Dallas has served the last five years as the school resource officer at Dixon High School. Therefore, I, Bruce Rauner, on behalf of the people of Illinois, do hereby proclaim May 30th, 2018, as Officer Mark Dallas Day in Illinois, in recognition of Officer Dallas's heroism and service to the people of the state of Illinois. Thank you. God bless you. Here we go. And here's your proclamation. Let's move over the break right. a little bit. And you, you guys come right over here. Come on, you be part of the picture. Come on, you guys should, you should be up front. Right? There you go. Great, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Say, say, say a few words. I got a few words. <laughs> <laughs> Very few. I wish there were fewer, but. Um, Governor Rauner, Senator Bivens, Representative Demmer, family and friends, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. It's one of the greatest honors of my lifetime. Two weeks ago today, I chased down a school shooter just, as he's walk just about as he's walked into a crowded gymnasium. My own son, Joshua, was in that gymnasium with other children in our high school. I was not about to let the children under my watch pray to another school shooting. I'm honored by today's recognition. I'm humbled by those who have uh, referred, referred to me as hero. 
but I respectfully and sincerely reject that label. I much prefer dad. You see, I'm just like every other parent who drops their children off at school each day uh, to one of our greatest, our great Illinois schools. I'm so proud of my kids and so hopeful for their futures. But I understand the fears parents have when they drop their children off at school. We can no longer deny that our school shootings have been, become a horrific part of our new national norm. Um, it's not a norm, it's a norm that we must change. Surely we can all agree with one powerful voice that our schools must be sanctuaries, not targets. Our schools need more heroes. Our elected officials have the power to be just that. You are and you will be the true heroes of our children when you support the training and the placement of school resource officers in our public schools. My police department, the Dixon Police Department, along with the Lee County Sheriff's Department, the Illinois State Police, and several of our other local agencies, we've been preparing for this incident for years. Um, I'm honored today to be joined by my friends and mentors, Dixon Police Chief Steve Howe, Dixon Police Lieutenant Clay Whalen, Detective Sergeant Mike Wolfley, Sergeant Doug Lehman, Sergeant Ryan Bivens, Lee County Sheriff John Simonton. Each one of these great police officers understood the importance of training and preparation long before two weeks ago. Their forward thinking equipped me with the resources and training that prevented a mass, mass murder. I, sh I share today's wonderful recognition with each one of them. They fully deserve it. I know that you will face challenges in opposition to your support for placement of school resource officers in our schools. They will say that the, uh, the idea costs too much. They will argue that police officers shouldn't be in our school hallways. But you are our children's heroes. Heroes do not run from adversity. They face it head on. Today I come before you not as a police officer who loves his job, but as a dad who loves his kids. I ask that you support the placement and training of school resource officers throughout the state. You will save our children's life by doing so. Thank you. Senator. Thank you, Governor. Uh, we were trying to create a day that uh, Mark and his family would remember, and, and uh, with this proclamation, um, which I didn't know about till a few minutes ago exactly what it was, uh, I think, Governor, you hit it out of the park. Uh, and we thank you for that proclamation. I don't recall anybody from Dixon, Illinois, uh, other than Ronald Reagan, having a day named after them. So congratulations, you're our hometown hero. Uh, known you for a lot of years and, and you performed remarkably well and as you said the training is is so important and uh, we've had one of the best trained law enforcement agencies uh, in not only in the state but I think in the United States so congratulations for what you did and, and uh, you are our hometown hero thank you Senator Bivens and I are both from Dixon. Dixon's home for us, Dixon's home for you. As Senator Bivens said, you're a hometown hero, but not just for what happened on that day. Uh, I spent time at Dixon High School as we, as we do as legislators, visiting classes, and you walk through those hallways on a given day and Officer Dallas is there and he has a great rapport with the students. He's a trusted, valued member of that community. And in the moment they really needed him, he stood up. But Every single day, he's there for those kids. And I think that's such an important part of school resource officers. They build and develop relationships with our students. They're a person the students can turn to when they need somebody. They're a trusted member of the community. And of course, at a time when you need to spring into action, you are there. We're incredibly proud of you. I'm pleased that we can honor you today at the state capitol, but I'm even more pleased that every day we get to come home to Dixon, a community that's served so well by the Dixon police and by you, Officer Dallas. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you all very much. Thank you for joining us today. God bless our police officers. Let's hear it for all of our police officers.